Vulture Stone. Deep inside the world's oldest temple, Golbekli Tepe, is a pillar known as the Vulture Stone. The temple was erected around 11,500 years ago and can be found in modern-day Anatolia, southern Turkey. It provides the earliest evidence for permanent human settlements in the world, and the Vulture Stone found within it may tell the story of a comet strike that shaped the course of human history. The stone is decorated with a range of animal symbols, including a scorpion, an ibex, and many birds in various poses. At the bottom of the scene is an image of a headless man, while the top is bordered with large, repeating arches and squares. There has been much speculation about what these symbols could mean. One theory suggests that the animals correspond to ancient constellations. The scorpion represents the constellation Scorpio, the duck-like drawing Libra, and the wolf symbol Lupus. The circular shape in the center would represent the sun. With all the symbols aligned, the stone represents the sky, at the date and time when these constellations and the sun were aligned. After cross-checking this theory with computer simulations of the solar system around that time, researchers proposed that the carvings could describe a comet impact that occurred around 10,950 BCE. In this case, the headless man could represent death and calamity, which befell humans at the time, and the strange symbols at the top of the stone could represent comet fragments streaming across the sky. Around that time, a mini ice age known as Younger Dryas began that changed civilization forever and lasted around a thousand years. It is considered a critical event for humanity, as some scientists believe that the emergence of agriculture in city-states resulted from the low temperatures of the Younger Dryas. This temporary climatic shift depleted hunter-gatherer food sources and forced ancient peoples to gather in settlements and cultivate crops to survive. The fascinating tableau seems to have served as a means to commemorate the devastating event by the people of Golbeki Tepe and suggests that it wasn't just another Neolithic temple, but perhaps an ancient observatory used for monitoring the night sky. As of 2021, less than 5% of the site had been excavated, and the mysteries of Golbeki Tepe are likely to be revealed in the years to come. Inga Stone Located in the middle of the Inga River of northeast Brazil, lies a 150-foot-long, 13-foot-high stone carved with strange, unidentified geometric symbols that have baffled archaeologists since its discovery. The Inga Stone is one of many carved stones in caves in this area of Brazil, which have been examined extensively by archaeologist and researcher Gabriel Baraldi. Dating back at least 6,000 years ago, Baraldi has uncovered and examined 497 symbols across these stones and caves. While most are obscure, a few undoubtedly represent celestial features, such as the Milky Way and the constellation of Orion. The carvings on the Inga stone are arranged in a linear pattern that stretches over the stone's entirety, with the designs and shapes carved on it believed to have been used for astronomical or religious purposes. Some researchers have suggested that the Inga stone may have been used as a map or guide to important astronomical events. In contrast, Others believe that the carvings represent the creation story of the region's indigenous people. The script on the stone remains a mystery, but some experts think it may be a form of proto-writing that predates the development of written language. Another popular, though unsubstantiated, theory is that the symbols adorning the stone signify extraterrestrial contact. Because the Inga stone symbols are so different from others found from the same time period, some researchers, such as Claudio Quintans of the Paribano Center for Ufology, have gone so far as to suggest that a spaceship landed in the area during ancient times and extraterrestrial visitors drew the symbols. Regardless of the countless theories surrounding this mysterious stone, there's little disagreement on its significance. It remains a fascinating artifact whose intricate carvings and mysterious script will continue to captivate researchers. Emerging technology, such as AI, may one day unlock the secrets of this ancient relic. Phaistos Disc the Phaistos disc has become an emblem of the Greek island of Crete. A small circular piece of clay, measuring about 16 centimeters in diameter, was discovered by Italian archaeologist Luigi Pernier in 1908 at the Minoan Palace of Phaistos on the Greek island of Crete, hidden among ancient Aegean scripts from 4,000 years ago. The symbols on the disc are arranged in a spiral pattern, divided into 61 different groups or signs. These signs were inscribed on the clay using a stamp or punch technique, with the mysterious craftsman utilizing a set of carved hieroglyphic stamps. It dates to the Middle or Late Minoan Bronze Age, around 2000 BC, 
when massive building complexes, sophisticated art, and writing systems flourished. Despite decades of study and analysis, the meaning of the symbols on the Phaestus disk remains a mystery. There have been numerous attempts to decode the inscriptions, with scholars proposing various theories, ranging from it being a religious text or a calendar, to a political message or a form of early writing. In recent years, researchers have used advanced imaging and machine learning techniques to try and decipher the disk's hieroglyphics. In July 2022, researchers from the Technological Educational Institute of Crete claimed to have finally cracked the code, announcing that the text on the disk is a prayer to a Minoan goddess. According to the researchers, the inscriptions on the disk describe a ritual involving offerings of barley, a bull, and wine to the goddess. They also claim that the text includes information about the lunar calendar and the movements of the stars and planets, which were essential for determining the timing of religious festivals and agricultural activities. Despite the recent breakthrough, many questions still surround the Phaestos disk, including who created it, what language it's written in, and what the symbols represent. Some scholars remain skeptical of the latest findings and argue that much work still needs to be done to fully understand this mysterious artifact. Rapa Nui Text The Rongo Rongo, or Rapa Nui Text, is a system of glyphs on wooden tablets discovered in the 19th century on Easter Island in the southeastern Pacific Ocean. The writing is believed to have been developed by the indigenous people of the island before the arrival of European explorers. The Rongo Rongo script remains one of the world's most enigmatic and untranslatable writing systems. The tablets themselves are made of a hardwood called Toromiro and feature inscriptions on both sides. European explorers first reported them in the late 19th century, and there are currently only 25 surviving tablets in various museums and collections around the world. The tablets were created using a combination of carving and burning techniques, and they feature intricate designs and geometric patterns in addition to the glyphs. The glyphs are arranged in rows and read from left to right, each representing a specific sound or meaning. Despite numerous attempts to decipher the Rapa Nui text, no one has been able to determine its meaning. The script is unlike any other writing system in the world and does not appear to be related to any known language. Some researchers believe that the script may have been developed by a local elite class of scribes, while others suggest that it may have been used for religious or magical purposes. The Rongo Rongo script remains one of the greatest mysteries of the ancient world. Despite centuries of study, researchers have yet to unlock the secrets of this enigmatic writing system. However, as new methods and technologies are developed, there is hope that one day we may finally be able to read the messages left behind by the people of Easter Island. In October 2020, researchers at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory announced they had developed an algorithm that could, quote, automatically decipher a lost language without needed advanced knowledge of its relation to other languages. This breakthrough could be the key to solving the mystery of the Rapa Nui text. Grolier Codex The Grolier Codex is a pre-Columbian Mayan manuscript. Its first owner claimed to have discovered it in a cave in Chiapas, Mexico in 1966. The codex is believed to date back to the late classic period of the Maya civilization between the 7th and 10th centuries AD. It's named after the Grolier Club in New York, where it was first exhibited in 1971. The manuscript consists of 11 pages and is made from a type of bark paper known as amati. The pages are arranged in a folded concertina format with glyphs and images on both sides. It is the oldest surviving manuscript from the Americas and provides important insights into the Maya religion and astronomy. Some believe that the Grolier Codex is a ritual almanac used to predict future celestial events and to guide religious ceremonies. Adorned on the pages are a series of images and glyphs that seem to represent the planet Venus and a range of deities and other celestial bodies. It is one of four surviving Maya codices identified to date. The other three are the Dresden Codex, Paris Codex, and Madrid Codex. The discovery of the fourth Grolier Codex was initially met with skepticism by some scholars, who questioned its authenticity and raised concerns that it was forged. Analysis and testing have confirmed the Codex's authenticity, and it is now widely regarded as an important and valuable Mayan artifact. The Mayan Codices were created using a complex system of hieroglyphic writing, largely lost during the Spanish conquest of the Americas in the 16th century. The conquistadors destroyed many Mayan manuscripts and other cultural artifacts to suppress the indigenous culture and promote Christianity. 
Despite losing much of their cultural heritage, the Maya civilization remains one of the world's most fascinating and enigmatic cultures. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? Subscribe now to Dark Five's brand new Ancient Mysteries channel and embark on a journey to uncover the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring mysteries of ancient times. Leave a comment if there are any ancient mysteries you want us to explore in upcoming videos.